With COVID-19 currently sweeping across the globe, Corteva have produced a short video to keep you up to date with the full army room situation and what Corteva are doing to assist industry and growers and farmers in the management of this serious pest. Hi, Robert Nets here, for Insecticide Development Manager from Corteva AgriScience Australia, here to talk to you about fall armyworm. Fall armyworm or Spodoptera fergipeda is an invasive lepidopteran or moth species that has become a significant threat to Australian agriculture. Fall armyworm attacks a broad range of important food and feed crops and is a threat to food security for millions across the globe. Fall armyworm is a native to tropical and subtropical regions of the Americas and damages are estimated in the billions of dollars. The situation in Australia, fall armyworm was first detected on, in Torres Strait Islands in December 2019. Since then it has spread to the mainland and has been uh, detected on the Mariba Tablelands in February 2020. Since then, recently it's been detected as far south as Bowen. What makes fall armyworm a devastating pest? It's highly polyphagous. It has been uh, documented from over 350 host plant species from 76 plant families. It has a high reproductive rate with females capable of producing over 2,000 eggs in a lifetime. It's highly migratory. It is capable of flying over 100 kilometers in a single night. It can move on plant material and agricultural machinery as well. It really is a global pest and has been documented from over 90 countries as being a serious pest. It's difficult to control and has developed resistance to many insecticides, including the uh, transgenic traits. Crops attacked by fall armyworm include maize, rice, sorghum, sunflower. Other broadacre crops include cotton, soybeans, wheat, barley, lucerne, peanuts, oats, clover. Vegetable crops such as tomatoes, potatoes, cabbage, lettuce, beet, onions. And also tree crops including apples, grapes, peaches, orange and numerous ornamentals. It has uh, multiple feeding behaviours. It can be a defoliator. It can attack the fruiting parts attacks the ears or maize plants and is also a seedling cutter where it goes across and cuts off the seedlings as they come off the ground. They're persistent all year long in tropical environments and capable of multiple generations per year. Fall armyworm lack diapause which allows them to infest the crop at any time of the year. Very difficult to control with high levels of natural tolerance to insecticides and the Bt traits. Fall armyworm is swooping across the globe. It is a native of tropical and subtropical Americas. It was first reported in Africa in 2016 and has since rapidly uh, moved across the globe. It was reported in India and Asia Pacific countries in 2018 and was reported in China and Australia in 2019. There are two strains of fall armyworm, the R strain and the C strain, or the maize strain and the rice strain. While it is currently under investigation which strain Australia has, it is highly likely that we have a mixture of both strains. Identification of fall armyworm is extremely important. It is often easy to be confused with other Spodoptera species that Australia has, such as Spodoptera latora. The way to identify fall armyworm is the large spots on the second last segment arranged into square pattern and also the upside down white Y on the dark head. The life cycle of the fall armyworm is very temperature dependent with approximately a generation time of 30 days. Females can lay over 2,000 eggs, which take 2 to 10 days to hatch. Larvae develop through 6, sometimes 5 instars, which takes approximately 14 to 21 days. They then pupate in the soil, which can take 9 days in warmer temperatures, leading to adult emergence. Adults generally live from 7 to 21 days. The pupal stage does not have a diapause stage. In Australia, the distribution of fall armyworm is yet to be figured out. As I said, fall armyworm is a subtropical and tropical pest. Its distribution in Australia is highly likely to be the subtropical, tropical areas. So northern tropical Australia down to southeast Queensland, northern New South Wales is highly likely to be potential for fall armyworm. It is critical that for control of fall armyworm that an integrated pest management approach is taken by industry. Integrated pest management is where all the tools in the toolbox are used and it's not just relying on insecticides. This includes scouting, conserving beneficials, cultural controls such as weeds management, crop selection and rotation, use of pheromones 
and economic thresholds. And finally, targeted use of selective insecticides. Corteva AgriScience has worked closely with industry and the APVMA to enable emergency permits for Success Neo and Delegate across all the registered crops for control of fall armyworm. It's important that the correct formulation is used in the registered crop. Currently, uh, Corteva AgriScience are testing other actives and working with APVMA and industry to implement further emergency permits for other insecticides.